Hello, this is Haku Dabin, and I'm here to read to you the entirety of SCP-35, The Possessive Mask. This one is a long one, and is special enough to be its own standalone. So I will not be reading any other articles in this one video. Item number, SCP-35, Object Class, Keter. Special Catering Procedures, SCP-35 is to be kept within a hermetically sealed glass case, no fewer than 10 centimeters or 4 inches thick. This case is to be contained within a sealed well, iron and lead shield in room at all times. Doors are to be triple locked at all times, with the exception of allowing personnel in or out. No fewer than two gu armed guards are to be posted at any time. The guards must remain outside at all times and are not allowed within the containment room under any circumstances. A trained psychologist is to remain on site at all times. Research personnel are not to touch SCP-35 at any time. SCP-35 must be moved into a new sealed case every two weeks. The previous case must be disposed of via SCP-101, which is the hungry bag. We'll get to that eventually. As it shows no adverse reaction to SCP-35's corruption, it only comes into contact with SCP-35 when it is possession of a host is given an immediate psychological evaluation. Description SCP-35 appears to be a white porcelain comedy mask, although at times it will change to tragedy. In these events, all existing visual records such as photographs, video footage, even illustrations of SCP-35 automatically change to reflect its new appearance. Huh, concerning it was just tragedy a moment ago. A highly corrosive and degenerate uh, viscous liquid constantly seeps from the eye and mouth holes of SCP-35. Any coming into contact with the substance slowly decays over a period of time, depending on the material until it has decayed completely into a pool of the original contaminant. Glass seems to react the slowest to the effects of the item, hence the construction choice of its immediate container. Living organisms that come into contact with the Upsets react much the same way, with no chance of recovery. Origin of the liquid is unknown. Liquid is only visible from the front and does not emerge or is even visible from the other side. Huh, I've sworn. Anyway. So that's within one and a half to two meters of SCP-35, or in visual contact with it, experience a strong urge to put it on. When SCP-35 is placed on the face of an individual, an alternate it brainwave patterns from SCP-35 overlaps with that of the original host, effectively snuffing it out and causing brain death to the subject. Something claims to be the consciousness contained within SCP-35. The body is of possessed subjects decay at a highly accelerated rate, eventually becoming little more than mummified, than mummified corpses. Nevertheless, SCP-35 has demonstrated the ability to remain in cognitive control of a body experiencing severe structural damage, even if the subject's body literally decays to a point where motion is not mechanically possible. No effect is found to be had when placed on the face of an animal. Conversations with SCP-35 have proven informative. Researchers have learned various details about other SCP objects in history in general. As SV-35 claims to have, have been at many momentous events, SV-35 displays a highly intelligent and charismatic personality, being both amiable and flattering to all those who speak with it. SV-35 has scored in the 99th percentile on all intelligence and aptitude tests, administered to it, and appears to have a photographic memory. However, psychological analysis has discovered SV-35 to possess a highly manipulative nature, capable of forcing sudden and profound changes to an interviewer's psychological state. SV-35 has been 
has proven to be highly sadistic, prompting some to commit suicide and transforming others into near mindless servants with linguistic persuasion alone. SV35 has said that it has intimate knowledge of the workings of the human mind and implied that it could change anyone's views if given enough time. <sighs> Additional, SV35 was found in a sealed crypt in an abandoned house in Venice in 18 something. Addendum 3501 SV35 has been found as able to possess anything that has a humanoid shape, including. Mannequins, corpses, and statues. SV-35 has been able to motivate all into movement, removing the need to expose live subjects to SV-35. Still, anything it possesses inevitably decays into motionlessness. Hmm. Other than 35-2. SV-35 has, has facilitated an, att an escape attempt, convincing several of the research staff to aid in its bid for freedom. Insurrections failed. All staff that have been in contact with SV-35 have been terminated, and mandatory psychiatric evaluations have been implemented for all personnel coming in contact with SV-35. Addendum 35-3. Yes, was determined that SV-35 is capable of telepathy, whether or not it possesses a host, even penetrating into the subconscious of others and using the knowledge it finds to its advantage. Extreme caution is advised when choosing subjects to converse with SP-35. Addendum 35-4. SP-35 has expressed as an interest in other SCPs, notably SCP-4715 and SCP-682. Dr. Blank has, has expressed worry that should SCP-35 bond with either, their regenerative qualities would negate its corruption and give it a permanent host. SCP-3505 No, I mean Addendum-3505 after several more Earth escape attempts and after reviewing SV-35's incident record, High Command has ordered that it be permanently sealed within the facility and prohibited from being allowed any more hosts. First, several personnel have protested against this, with some even erupting into violence. As a direct result, all personnel have, have come in co into contact with SV-35 have been terminated. Going forward, all personnel that deal with SP-35 are to be rotated frequently, and contact is to be limited even into its dormant state to as little as possible. And then number 35, I have 6. Personnel within 10 meters of SP-35 have recently reported feeling unease, saying that they can hear unintelligible whispering. Several others have suffered from severe migraines. Object has been monitored, but there is no change in its dormant behavior. No sounds have been recorded. The motion to reinstate an SCP-35's health those privileges have been brought up once more, if only on a temporary basis to discover new, thi new changes in the object's behavior. Denied. Addendum 3507. The walls of SP-35's experience still have, have, begun, uh, have suddenly begun secreting a black substance. Tests of, of on the substance have revealed it to be human blood, although highly contaminated with several foreign and unknown agents. Substance is corrosive, having a pH of 4.5 and prolonged exposure to the walls have proven to be detrimental to their structural integrity. More notably, it seems to be forming patterns on the walls. Several segments seem to be paragraphs in various languages including Italian, Latin, Greek, and Sanskrit. Translation is pending. Other segments appear to be diagrams depicting ritualistic sacrifice, ice and mutilation, often for the arcane benefit of the person committing them. Several staff members have been shocked to note that, that all these sacrifices bear an uncanny resemblance to various his personnel and their loved ones, often in conflicting positions. Hmm. 
Researchers, while in the room examining these newly formed patterns, have complained of hearing loud whispering and high-pitched, unnerving laughter at re irregular intervals. The person now all in the sex working daily in there and around SV-35 experiment uh, have suffered catastrophic moral damage with an all-time high in suicide rates and staff in that area, whether or not they have ever had contact with SV-35. The only change in SCP-35's dormant behavior is, is regarding its contain in glass case. The duration of the case has increased to a high degree, enough so that the glass will occasionally shatter, causing a wide dispersal of SCP-35's contaminant. This occurs quite and often at the most inopportune in times, so far resulting in six casualties and three a fatalities of both research and cleanup staff. And then 35.8. In light of the mess, as suicide as homicide of the members of the research team tasked with translating passages garnered from SV 35's concern cell, the moral damage in the area, and great general loss of staff dealing with SV 35 to either death or insanity, has been decided to coat the inner and outer wall. All of its containment cell with SCP-148, which has proven and well in the containment of SCP-132. Hmm. In order to hopefully block out the high levels of negativity being emitted by SCP-35. At them 3509, the use of SCP-148 has worked well, causing moral and suicide rates to return into near pre-SCP-35 rates. However, the material appears to facilitate the negativity within the cell, causing a veritable greenhouse effect inside. For still inside the cell, I've said that they feel a heavy sense of dread, fear, anger, and general depression, as well as hearing constant, nearly inaudible whispering from Upon immediate and entry, a prolonged stay causes severe and migraine to suicidal tendencies, heavy hemorrhaging or blood vessels around the eyes, inside the mouth, and no general has associated to others, and for the whispering to increase to almost deafening in volumes, intersected by constant mocking laughter. Exposure of more than three hours inevitably results in the subject falling into a deep psychosis and attempting to harm either themselves or others. Most spoke in Latin or Greek despite the fact that several did not previously know how to speak said languages beforehand. The presence of both blood in both word and diagram formations have in has increased is disproportionately. The walls having become cluttered, the formations beginning to overlap each other, a substance has been proven to be both difficult to clean and even more corrosive than was originally recorded. With a pH of roughly 2.4, general spacer gives the current walls a life of two months before they will need replacement. It is becoming gradually more and more difficult to contain SV-35 and, and the debate to reinstate its house privileges have once again come up. Denied. And then 35.10. The walls, ceiling, and floor of SCP-35's containment cell have now been completely saturated in blood. All personnel entering and guarding the area must wear full hazmat protection suits. Constant cleaning efforts are being inundated. The magnitude, and intensity, and recurrence of the phenomenon that occur within SCP-35's containment cell have increased to an, an alarming degree. The cell door has been known to become locked on its, of its own accord while personnel are inside and unable to be opened for a period of time. Avengers form out of the large, larger puddles of blood and often attempt to grab or harm personnel near them. Blair apparitions have started at appearing to staff. Electronic devices no longer work inside the cell, and the light it cannot be turned on, though there is no physical reason why it does not work. Pressing those int meaning to use non electric base is light sources. Cleaning measures ha are having no discernible effect on the cell, and the walls are 
degree at a very high rate, forcing them to be replaced within a week at best, although the blood makes it nearly impossible to properly achieve this. SV-35 may have to be moved to a new cell entirely, while the, with the old one sealed off and disengaged from the rest of the facility. So, uh, SCP-35, also known as the Possessive Mask, is capable of uh, possessing people and now is successfully escaping from containment. Anyway, this has been SB-35. I hope you all enjoy. I'll see you all next time.